<laughs> I have. I served him a couple cold ones. So funny. <laughs> I would love to see you high as a kite on the old and then not see a speed bump coming. No, <laughs> Just a drug laboratory and a cafe where you can smoke weed and play chess. I like, I helped a couple homies take photos. You take dick milkshake, I take discount, and then I just buy solo cups. Uh, just because like you dress like the number one anarchist doesn't mean I don't like a bit of trouble. Serial killer's wet dream. Oh, I can see this person naked and then follow them home? I don't get the hype around the succulents. You're a succulent guy? What does that mean? It's a plant of some sort. It's oh, like cactuses. You cacti fucking baboons. First of all, it's cacti. Is that what a cactus is? A succulent? Yeah, a cactus is a succulent. It's a form of succulent. <laughs> I mean, it's we're tossing the word around pretty loosely right now. I figured you're at home suckling yourself off all the time. <laughs> Honestly, in, in university, I heard they called you su the, the succulent. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, the succulent. Jesus, the succulent. Why? Just go on and succulent oh, yourself off. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Tell me on succulent. You got me on succulent. Timestamp uh, it. I'm so glad I bought these uh, gag cups that just spill on you. Mm -hmm. Oh, creasy, 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 creasy. I tell you, I uh, met. Does this name ring a bell? Tim Houston, uh, Premier of Nova Scotia. I met him. Oh, excuse you. I met him before, but I saw him again. Where at? In Bedeck. You're fucking rubbing elbows with the go governor of. Premier of Nova Scotia. I, well, I had a small chat with him. Oh, about what? I just said I had met him before. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have. I served him a couple cold ones. Did he give a shit? No, he didn't. He didn't care. Why, why would he care? Yeah, let me tell you something. He had a bit of a Homelander vibe. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he kind of okay. floated in, and when he, he's a close guy, he he, got, he gets close. Now it was a small cafe we were in. Still, but as I think about it, we had a we had a decent amount of room. Yeah. He's, He's kind of floating close. Touching? Like hand on the shoulder? No, not too much, but <laughs> no, he was... <laughs> T-Shane walked in and he was sucking on a tit. <laughs> Wait, now yeah, what? He was that Homelander. <laughs> like, yo, this guy's exactly like Homelander. <laughs> He's <laughs> like, hey, what's up, Tim Houston? <laughs> what makes you think he was like Homelander? Well, he was sucking on a giant tit when I came in the room. So that was my first clue. To be fair, it's on the menu, so you can order it. <laughs> Best tit restaurant in Cape Anyway, Brown. it was an interesting little chat. He's a nice guy. Did you drop any uh, like political stuff to get him to change the policy? What the fuck am I going to say, Creasy? You know, what am I going to drop and be like, so uh, you got an office, I bet. I got a bone to pick with you about these school zones, Houston. <laughs> Let me tell you something about you schools, like Houston. A speed bump kind of guy. What's that? You seem like a speed bump kind of guy. Like you'd enforce, like, put more speed bumps in my fucking neighborhood. Put more people, speed bumps? Yeah, pro people, speed people bump? are dry. Yeah, I think you're pro speed bump. You, don't you, think, I'm, you think I'm pro speed yeah, bump? Dude. You're like, cruising oh, buddy, around, just because like, you dress like the number one anarchist doesn't mean I don't like a bit of trouble. <laughs> Say, get ripped. <laughs> Fuck, I spilled again. <laughs> Do you have that in your pocket or something? Where the fuck did you come up with that line? I don't know. I was just looking at him and I thought it. <laughs> doesn't mean I don't want a little I bit do, of I trouble. I just need every once in a while, I can see Otter getting chatty. I'm like, oh, you need to know not to play. <laughs> Man, I'm going to whip this home. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. Sit down. <laughs> Walking a fine line. No, I don't want more speed bumps. You don't think I love getting the old e-bike up to 24? <laughs> so funny. I would love to see you high as a kite on the old and then not see a speed bump coming. No, man. I'm on high alert now, dude. After the accident, dude, I can't play. I you can't catch air. You I forgot good. that you dropped that bike. That's fucking so Oh, buddy, awful. it was crazy. <laughs> I forgot that you told me to. I was telling Suzanne the story. I was like, it, the, it's just so funny to me that you dropped the bike at 7 in the morning going for Siggy's. Yeah, was... And then kept going for Siggy's. <laughs> yeah, the determination yeah, I walked in, dumb. my knee literally was blasted open. <laughs> and I was just like, cigarettes. <laughs> Next select regular. <laughs> it's before breakfast, sir. This is insane. No. Nah. Well, look what I went through to get here. You'll never leave this. I live three minutes away. That could be an anti-smoking commercial right there. Just you dragging your bloody corpse into needs for cigarettes at 7 a.m. You know, I had an anti-smoking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> you people on the other side of the camera don't understand this is the eighth anti joke that's come up yeah. today. And you know what? It's not the last. <laughs> it's funny every time. It's I never get sick of it. I'm just especially, shad- especially if the other person's in the middle of saying something <laughs> anti and they see my face like smile and they say it and they still have to finish what they're saying knowing that I'm just waiting them for them to be done so I can be like, you know what? You're not even listening. <laughs> Just waiting for Auntie to be finished. God damn. <laughs> My only regret is that there's no uncle equivalent. You never work or uncle organically into a conversation. No. No. Uncle only means uncle. Yeah. It's a shame. Yeah. You need a better word. Like, Manty. Ma- no. <laughs> no. I don't like that. It's like it's, male Auntie. That sounds like something Otter wears. <laughs> Manties. <laughs> See, you can't play. Don't play with me. Toss is uh, good enough for you today. What yeah. the fuck happened uh, in the car right here? He opened it up. I didn't say anything. He told me I like speed bumps. Yeah. <laughs> As like a biker, there are no problem. Thought- Don't tell me I like speed bumps. That is the, the most egregious slur you can think of. Calling him, telling him man he likes speed bumps. That's You don't say that kind of thing to another man. What the fuck else did you ask the premier? You don't look like. him in the eye and be like, you like speed bumps. That's fighting words. Where I'm from, hey, listen, that's fighting words. Who got it, baby? Whoa! Tim, if you're listening... I'm all right with the number of speed bumps that are around. I got a bone to pick with you. I want fewer. You want fewer? I don't like speed bumps. You got no time for them. Yeah, in a car, it sucks. Yeah. But and as someone who bike. doesn't own kids, meh. You know, <laughs> what do I care? What are you slowing down for? Your little cat. I don't let her out of the yard. Just yeah, like but I other people's kids. cats count, too. Well, you know I mean, what? I you take know, it back. Maybe I am pro speed bumps. You <laughs> don't you say you shit like disgusting that. disgusting humans that don't want your oh, speed you bumps. Son of a bitch. Oh, now I got a hill to die on. You flip flopping motherfucker. That's right. I'll I caught, flip sm- I caught flop. smoke for nothing. Flippity, <laughs> hippity, hoppity, and floppity. You know who? what I saw the other day? Something we saw a long time ago. I mean, me to talk to you about. All right. Do you remember one time we pulled up behind the car driving? I can't remember where we were driving. That's not important. I don't even know why I brought up where we were driving because it couldn't be less. I'm going to guess New Brunswick. <laughs> it's probably New Brunswick. Still in time. I'm thinking we're just going to cut it. We in. drive to New Brunswick a lot. Yeah, we used to. We quite used a bit. to, yeah. So. It's unfortunate. It sucks. Uh, this time we were driving somewhere in Dartmouth. We pulled up behind a car and uh, one of the worst bumper stickers I ever saw, it was a advertisement for the driver's only fans on the bumper sticker. Yeah, that was just a little while ago. That yeah, was, that was like here. a month or two ago, yeah. yeah. In Sackville? Yeah. It was in, it was in Dartmouth, I think. Was it yeah. a dude or a uh, lady's only fans? I think it was a lady's only that fans. That seems more dangerous. Based on the other... Yeah, well, that's, that was kind of my point. Like, that seems like a horrible... Like, that's a serial killer's wet dream, isn't it? To just have, yeah, 100%. Like, oh, I can see this person naked and then follow them home? Like, yeah. <laughs> Fucking nuts. But here's the thing is like when you start an OnlyFans, if you're not a famous person with a following, you gotta find a way to get it out there. Yeah. But I would still wanna do it. Like I I don't spread my cheeks for camera. But if you're not somebody if if you're not like one of these internet people that already has a following, you gotta be like, Hey, oh I got the cheeks. But I need the eyes. Come on. I just don't think you want your clientele to be local. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't think so either, but somebody's better. really trying to get it to pop off. There's an OnlyFans grind, and it doesn't involve get your neighbors to follow you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, just, that's terrifying. Oh, guys, it's like, it's like us. We're trying to get this thing to pop off, right? So we do local videos. She's probably got a little flag in the back of her. I've been pushing for a group. Nova Scotia only flag. <laughs> that's not bad. Local OnlyFans trying to become the biggest local OnlyFans. Watch fan. me finger myself with this lobster claw. <laughs> <laughs> probably cut that out. A beautiful, <laughs> just a beautiful place to visit. You're like, oh, wow. <laughs> just heard Peggy's coat. No, I definitely get what you're saying, though. That is a, it is a wild move to just. Yeah, that seems insane. Yeah, like how, how many insane people are going to be behind you? Like, like, like imagine if you're like the neighbor. Yeah. And like you, you got a wife and kid. You're just looking outside at the only thing. Like, and you're just looking at the window. And your wife's like, what are you looking at? <laughs> Nothing. I'm sorry, your neighbor... Yeah, she drives a Honda? If you knew your neighbor was on OnlyFans, you'd have to sign up. Which I mean, you, I feel like you and you your... I feel like you to. and your wife, uh, you, and and you would come to a decision. Yeah. Like, we gotta at least check this This is out. not the sexual thing. Even just to I see just what the real research. Know. I just gotta know. If you just know... Like, that's what I find crazy. Like, you can meet somebody and they they tell you they're on OnlyFans. It's like, you can... Here's the other thing, though. Butthole yeah. five minutes Okay, later. here's the other thing, though. Now, I could be wrong on this crease. You usually are. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's hear it. They would know that you know too. I don't know. I've never signed up to OnlyFans. So no, I, I feel know. like they would know, right? Because it's all you, and you would handle your subscriptions. I feel like you could at least have the names, or like if they would be paying you. I you think. Would... I think people. I don't know, but I think people have like aliases. Okay. So you could register, and it's like what name displays. Hey, hey. he doesn't know. <laughs> 
He's fucking signed up to everybody's OnlyFans he's ever met. Yeah. No, I, you, no, you I, think I, I have money? No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, well, it costs like $3 a month for the lowbrow stuff you'd be looking at. <laughs> the Juggalos and the Juggalettes. <laughs> oh, I can see that for free. What do you mean? <laughs> Twitter is still a thing. <laughs> That's fair. I, uh, Twitter's the new Tumblr. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right, well, now we enough. now we start to get back in the t-shirt game. <laughs> Twitter's the new Tumblr. It's true. It's just like sad girls and titties. That's literally all it is now. Sad girls and titties. Mm-hmm. That's a good podcast. Like at the same time, or is it people crying and then titties? <laughs> if you find the right. Place, We're gonna take a break from the crying right now for little titties. <laughs> we'll be right back we'll be right for right a little bit more tears. From <laughs> tears to titties. Have you ever met anybody who had an OnlyFans? You well, yes. young people. Oh. You must have met a bunch. No? Yeah. If I have, I, they haven't told me. Yeah, I was like twenty-one. When OnlyFans was coming up and I was in university and everybody was like, oh, I could just pay university uh, okay. doing this. So everybody made it and nobody paid their tuition with it. Okay. Did you ever sign up? Me? No. Well, I got a couple like, f- never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I've been sent like free passes for things. Oh, sure. But they were like homies that I, I like, I helped a couple homies take photos for okay. them and stuff. And, like, you know when like the that. voice goes up like that, something's up, eh? <laughs> I like it. I like he, it. He has his, his little shoulder there. I'm glad we had the camera on Otter this episode. He goes, for sure. uh, I helped a couple homies take a couple photos. <laughs> I like, I helped a couple homies. I helped a couple homies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go. I don't want to go in graphic. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not going to make you get into it, but I'm just saying that's. A, you, I'd love to play poker with you sometime. <laughs> oh, just a regular old just, fashioned fool. I'll just raise like a hand. <laughs> it was weirdly vulnerable. You don't see a vulnerable. Yeah, I, I slipped up. It slipped up. I don't know what happened. It's fine. Was there any spreading involved? Well, yeah. Spreading. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm spreading cheeks. Oh my god, pictures. greasy. Just curious how in there you're getting. <laughs> yeah, that's a good friend. Man, I'll do anything for my homies. God damn. <laughs> you can call them homies, okay? You can call them homies, and it's a little... It's, 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 you know, it's, it's classic. I'll just say that. It's, you know, I'll do anything for my homies, because you know, like, it's clear, like, it's already spreading. I mean, they're, they're, not hey, all look, the photos are spreading. A homie, you know, you're like, a homie is a homie. I just love that phone call. Hey, homie, do you mind coming over and taking some pictures of my butthole? Hey. Anything for you, homie. What a homie's for. <laughs> I've, I've never charged you guys for anything, and I film two assholes every week. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, that's fair, that's fair. I'll give him that one. Do you call us homies? <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck! I'm glad I got a hookup if I ever really get into, get into the butthole picture game. Yeah, yeah. If you this new this new thing you're doing, be like, you know, I don't know if you guys have ever thought of this, but I could just. T- Get some really nice pictures of my butt. <laughs> some high quality. Otter takes good pictures. Who the hell is Otter? He's a homie. He's a homie. <laughs> All right. Homies do shit for homies. Oh my God. It's like you've never heard of the word homie. You don't got a pictures. butthole guy? Are you telling me you don't got a butthole guy? I thought everybody had a butthole guy. I got a butthole guy. <laughs> Yours is a doctor, though. <laughs> <laughs> you want butthole pics? I'll get you butthole pics. No problem. Spread them. That's em. a threat. Them. That's a dirty threat. Oh, yeah. Right down the barrel. I'd do anything for the homies. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, Otter? He goes, he goes, I took a couple of pictures for a couple of homies. I helped a couple of homies take photos. I'm trying to like be polite to them. Yeah, you no, guys. you're doing this. You know what's great, too, is like, I know the story behind it. So, like, when, I, when it's, I'm like, oh, yeah, how long is he going to how long is he gonna talk about this before? He's like, I can't be talking about this shit. I can't be talking about this shit. I, oh, I took a couple of pictures for some homies. The shoulder oh, forward. Oh, I like the shoulder forward, and I like to throw a little something extra on the end now. Oh, I took a couple of pictures for some homies. Or something like that. Homies. Some homies. <laughs> homies do things for homies. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'd like to raise me little glass to that. It's just so funny because he's the only nice one here. <laughs> Absolutely. We have fun. Me and Tish ain't Let no deal. We don't do shit for the homies. Me and Tish. I mean, I don't do that kind of shit for the homies. No. Things. Can't stop laughing. Anyway, that's why you don't bring up family. Move on. <laughs> what do we got? Sorry to interrupt. Fuck me. Uh, Fuck me. No, no, no. I like that. That was a quaint little tale. Quaint little tale from a quaint. Never mind. I ordered quaint tale at the restaurant last night. Nice. It's pretty good. Uh, they gave me taint tail instead. It was very different. <laughs> that uh, sounds like what you get when you go out in a bar in a small town. <laughs> a quaint little tale. <laughs> 
Not a, much to choose from. A bit of quaint tale. Right. No BLFs in sight. No BLFs, that's for sure. That's for sure. Not in a small town. Well, there was one BLF in the corner, but she looked like she was spoken for. That's me in the corner. Surrounded by a little bit of quaint tale. Not bad. BLF style. What the fuck is BLF? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> There's Just a, said not- it accidentally earlier. And, you know, here we are. All right. You so, know when you get it. You'll understand when you get a little BLF, like, then you'll know. So yeah. now we're going for some, some, let's get back, Chris, I'll bring it back for you. Rewind it, rewind. Quaint powers, or sorry, small powers? No, slightly positive powers. Slightly, slightly positive. positive powers. So it's like, I was try, trying to explain, it's like, uh, you know how like the X-Men are like the top tier of mutants? Mm-hmm. This would be like the lowest tier. We're like, ah, I got the shittiest deal, but yeah. it's still good. It's still an upgrade. It's still it's better not. than what we have now, which yeah. is nothing. Still better, yeah. but it's not amazing. That's okay. it. So I'm just trying to, you know, I the thing is, I got to try to make them all evenish so that it's a hard decision. So we're trying to make these are like slight upgrades to your life. You get to pick gotcha. One of them. Okay. All right. So these are your choices. I love it. Uh, the first one's just kind of fun. You get to you, your pee is now milkshakes. <laughs> you piss out frosty milkshakes. They're cold. They're delicious. <laughs> You got to get over the fact that you're drinking your own pee, but they're goddamn delicious. Okay, so slightly positive is debatable. Let's keep going. <laughs> How's that not positive? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of hoping this was the way it would go. I was kind of like, I hope that it's like not super negative, but I hope it's not positive either. I hope it's just like no, this- weird. It's just weird. Like, <laughs> yeah. hey, like you can't just say like now you piss milkshakes and you're like, and that's good, a good thing. It's good. Yeah, you get milkshakes yeah, all this the time. Is pee, this is Dude, people, joy. The thing is, Pete, it still comes out of your dick. Yeah, but they, <laughs> people don't have to see that. You don't want to show them that. <laughs> so, okay, you guys want milkshakes? Where are you keep? Them. Well, they're ice cold, but they're in the bathroom. <laughs> what? They're in the bathroom. I gotta go. You can just do that in the kitchen. If you piss milkshakes, there's no reason for you to go to the bathroom. Well, your dick out. You still have your dick out. Like all the other rules still you apply. Can't do party. You can't. Ju- yeah, you can't. Everybody be like- here lives with their partners. <laughs> it's true, but I don't want her to know either. <laughs> I don't want her to know where I'm getting. Because yeah, you still want the credit for making the milkshake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And also, the flavor is changed by what you eat. You can kind of influence it. Wait, 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 wait. So your milkshake is just always tobacco and coffee. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't want to... I, I actually want to choose the flavor. I don't want what I eat to affect it. <laughs> you get, like, a good... It, it still comes out in one of the good flavors. You know, there's nothing... It doesn't come out cheeseburger She just takes a big drink. She's like, is that Mel, bro? <laughs> <laughs> She'd be like, is that Next Select Regular? Thank you very much. Get it right. Get the get brand right. Get it right. <laughs> I was going fancy. Tim Houston and for Florida. life. I don't know. I decided to throw that in there. <laughs> anyway, I'm serving milkshakes, but I can only do one every two or three hours. Yeah. <laughs> Take a break here in between. I can get a little tiny one for Buddy, you. But you'd be fat as fuck after a while, too, because don't tell me you just wouldn't be like, sometimes when you'd be, I'd set up a little contraption. You have sure. a bad back. You'd have a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> Cop sitch. <laughs> well, you're just pissing in a cop and then. It's true. Buddy, yeah. how good would that be if you're at like a concert? Like a, you oh, can't, one of those outdoor concerts, you're not allowed to leave? Oh, just, just start charging hot. people. Yeah, yeah. I'll just sit there and drink water and be like, have a little suckling. <laughs> Off a straw, I wouldn't be like just raw yeah. dogging out. I'd have pants on. It would just be like a hose coming out. It's the yeah. equivalent of like sharing a joint at a festival. I you wonder know, like, also. Any, we're all friends here. We're all. No, fuck. Can yeah exactly yeah just like, like a hookah yeah. passing it around like a hookah yeah, exactly. you're at a music festival everybody's high on MDMA all the coolest rappers taking a hit off my dick milkshake <laughs> people are running up taking film photos yeah last night I had Travis Scott and Drake sucking on my dick milkshake he said it was one of the best they've had oh, oh Moon buddy. Mist all of a sudden there's a trap song about your dick milkshakes I gotta hit it I gotta hit it Thompson's dick Dick shake, dick oh. shake. Oh, I got that. You, haven't, dick hit, you shake. haven't hit the moon mist from Thompson's dick shake? <laughs> you ain't lived, son. I had a moon mist milkshake last night, guys. See, this is a pretty positive one. You guys are trying to think this is <laughs> yeah, no, this That's is fun. It's this fun. Now, fun. Now, now, now we're in that now we're in like the backstage of a yeah. concert and I got my dick hookah going. You got going. a party trick going on? This <laughs> yep. is pretty solid. This is pretty solid. Yeah. Okay, second one's not as novel, but that one's bringing celebs in too. Yeah. You know. Celebs are coming in, right? Now we got the big celebs. Oh, if you take a little bit of drugs, would your milkshake get people high? Because that would be a big hot commodity at a Pete? party. That's, I mean, sure. Yeah, I'd say you could. There I'd you say go. it works its way in. Do I'd say mine's Molly. definitely going to be like that anyway then. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely high 100% of the time. I don't even think people are going to want to have my dick moon mist <laughs> shake that just puts them to sleep. Yeah, that's going to be the reason they don't want it. I that. drink your dick milkshake, but there's a little too much THC in it. <laughs> Imagine the setup. You're just dressed all in black. The hose coming out. Drake. 
Maybe that's where Drake and Kendrick settle the beef over uh, a nice yeah. little moon mist dick milkshake. Put out a little frosty one, two straws. Two straws. You guys got a little bit in common. You like that's dick called sounding. If you guys can <laughs> suck from the same moon mist Thompson dick milkshake, then I think we can get all over all this pedophile. Wah, 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 wah. Time to fuck him up. Moon mist milkshake, baby. Come on. Let's say sorry to each other. Let's just say sorry. Let's look each other in the eyes and say sorry. I did not expect dick milkshake to get this wholesome. This oh, is my fucking, God. Bring the world together. All right, we're only on option one. Jesus Christ. Ooh, I think I know where I'm going. I, th- I think we might I have already have silly. a job in this world. I should have saved this one for last. I knew that. I was just too excited about piss shake. Sorry. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to lie. At first, I was like, Greasy, this comes out of my dick. And at the end of it, I'm like, Greasy, I'm going to need a special outfit for what we're talking you gotta about. You got to open up your mind and your butthole and listen Absolutely. To it. You just got to be open to new opportunities like dick shakes. Second option, not as exciting, but pretty handy. You get 10% off everything. Ooh. That's it. Ten percent off whatever anything you want to buy. Yep, just ten. It's not amazing, but it's good. That's six though. I mean, that builds up. That's yeah. sick. Yeah, ten percent off everything your whole year is pretty solid. It's pretty yep. good. Uh, pretty good life, you know. And everybody just knows that you don't even have to ask for it. Ooh. I mean, they don't ask for ID or anything. They just know. It just they, you know it's not even thought of. Like everything just costs less for you. Yeah, they ring it up. Not a very fun one though. Not a very fun one. No, not as inventive. But I was trying to think of something that was on par with Dick Shake. Okay. <laughs> I, I will have to say that I don't believe that this is on par with milkshake coming Wait, out of your dick. What percentage of a discount would you need for it to be equivalent <laughs> oh, to dickshake? Excellent shake? question. Is that a 50% thing? I just think because one comes out of your dick that it's never going to be like the same thing. Why like you? Well, this one you're getting a great discount. I'm not even tell. I'm not talking shit about this option. I want you to. I want to let you know it's a great it's option. A good option. But like you, <laughs> you like after a while, you get used to the ten percent off. Mm. I don't. I think doesn't even di- feel special. I think the dick <laughs> milkshake is with you every day, and you're like, this is not normal. In fact, I think it might get worse as it goes on. Being like, what kind of life am I living? You take dick milkshake, I take discount, and then I just buy solo cups. And oh. you and I start a business. Yeah, we make start, a bunch of money. Sort of a barter system at first, and then it yeah, turns exactly. into a It's business. a partnership, man. We just go to concerts and just make money. Let me ask you something about this milkshake. <laughs> man, we're getting hung up on the shake. Can I choose the flavor just at whim? No, you got no, to so, eat. You gotta eat something that's going to make it taste that way. And it's going to take some experimentation to see what you eat, what flavor it turns you into. You just need to eat bananas, grapes, and... <laughs> no, but what do I eat if I want moon mist? Bananas, grapes, I guess bubble and... gum, bubble He's gum. He's telling you the moon mist ingredients, and you're just not listening. That's not true, though. That's not... <laughs> Actually, what it tastes like. It tastes we, more we, like bubblegum. We, 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 we Google I know, but if you taste true. moon mist as a whole, it tastes like bubblegum ice cream without the bubblegum in it. Well, listen, the, the, the yeah. bestowing of the yeah. powers yeah. does not involve cream. flavors. So you got to figure out flavoring on your own. There's a way to do it, but I, I ain't telling you. The dick shake doesn't oh, come God. What's it going to taste like on the experimentation process? It's, there's going to be Delicious. some weird flavors coming. Okay, so start off, maybe we get like a vanilla base. I think you want to start with the vanilla. You want to start, I mean, I don't love the color. chocolate. I don't like the color of the vanilla. I'm but, you know, nothing's going to be great. I'm a rice guy. <laughs> I'll tell you what's the weird day is when you uh, eat a bunch of chocolate and then you take a piss out in the snow somewhere and someone comes outside. And they're like, did you just have explosive diarrhea in the snowbank? Uh, yes. <laughs> I did. You're, it's and way it was delicious. It actually tastes like a frozen hot chocolate if Body, you pick it up and eat it. Take that milkshake piss on some snow and it's take a it up like super a snow cup. Oh, Come yeah. On. And you're making a little business now. Yeah, that's pretty. That's a novel treat right there. <laughs> yeah, and, and you just you just set up like a thing that looks like a machine that does it all. Mm. But then you just turn around to work it and you're just grabbing snow and peeing on it. Be like, that's blue. Man, that guy's got a great uh, treat, but he's drinking water constantly. What the <laughs> fuck's going on over there? I, I, I got to say, it's kind of a weird business. And he opens at nine and he's exhausted. Exhausted by eleven thirty. <laughs> just drink. Just a snorkel with a hose into it. Oh yeah. Honestly drinking. All right, well, I- and you go IV. Oh yeah. Now it's just feeding you. You're not eating. Now you're just like your your body. I'm sitting there looking at my phone while it's happening. Somebody's you're like, Yo, at this point, really. <laughs> yeah. Get a catheter too. Somebody just gives Steady you a bit, somebody gives you a bit of root beer. Somebody wants a root beer one. Fine, give it to me. Oh yeah, that's how the shop works. They bring in the thing and you eat it and then you make a milkshake with it. Yeah. That's all right. Gross. Right. <laughs> they show up with like berries. You have to chew the berries and swallow. Yeah. And it just comes out. <laughs> just we got that set up. All right. I feel like we're all Yeah, I don't know stuff. if that's a superpower anymore. I feel like this is just turning you into a Yeah, now you just got a job, you're a day laborer. You're essentially yeah. a cow of some sort. Okay, right now, so right now, I'm not going to lie. I think I like the 10% or better. Okay. It's, a, it's sounding less work, and you just kind of get to keep living normal. You are <laughs> up and down on these. We're only through two, and these already switched seven times. Uh, third one. I like this one. I think this would be a hit. You get to pick the sound of your own voice, and you can change it once every four months, once a quarter, once a, every three months. Once a quarter, you can change the sound of your voice to whatever you want. Huh. But you got to stick with that sound for three months. Yeah. 
That's sick. Okay, That'd cool. Be all right. Cool. As people, I think we all hate our voices. I know I do. I don't know if you do. I yeah, hundred percent. I do, but I don't trust that I would pick a better one. Three months later, you can take another one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And Walk you around time like Denzel for three months. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> I mean, if you like, if you go straight to Denzel, Chris, I'm gonna be like, oh, so you're Denzel for three months? And you're yeah. gonna be like, all right, I don't know, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. You take a shot at it, Denzel. I can't even think what he sounds like. No, I, I, I can't. Mine will just be, I feel offensive. Yeah, I was a little worried about diving into it yeah. without, without practicing that one. Yeah, you can dive into like a. Well, you did the Morgan Freeman pretty good. Yeah, but I needed someone to show me first. Yeah. If you showed me a... a You're like a voice Denzel. sponge. Yeah, I am a Ooh, voice what about, sponge. <laughs> what, what about this? Instead of changing it every quarter, okay. every time you hear a good voice, you could be like, I want that one. And you just keep make, working your way up in the cool voice. And, and then, and then you, leave the per, you leave the person that you take that voice from. They keep with your old you, voice. Oh, you switch voices? <laughs> yeah, you they keep your old voices? Ones. I like that one. You're sort of like the devil from the movie Fallen, but with voices. Yeah, but way lamer. Yeah, way lamer for sure, but still kind of fun to watch. Yeah. And the last option, this is kind of tailor made for T Shane, but I don't, you know what I mean? I just, I, mm-hmm. I, I was trying to come up with something equivalent. It was hard. No heartburn for the rest of your life. That's good. Oh, man. Jesus. Just Christ. Never in your life ever again experience heartburn. I'll take if it. If you're feeling heartburn, you're probably having a heart attack. I'll take it. No hesitation, heartburn. Yep. Okay. You would still get a 10% discount on Tums. <laughs> <laughs> but a Tums honestly make heartburn worse. You know what I bet cools down heartburn real good is a nice frosty dick shake. <laughs> <laughs> This vanilla. <laughs> Eat a couple tums. Have a little tum shake. Oh, a oh little tumble stills good shake. <laughs> oh, that was good. I'm taking dick shake. I'm sorry. You yeah, taking dick, dick shake? It's just too novel. You know what I mean? It'd just be too fun. Piece. Let me let me talk to you about the later effects of the dick shake. Okay. It's all glitz and glam when you go in. <laughs> you know the the, the the world that you've set up is all glitz and glam. <laughs> it's all glam and glitz. It's pretty glammy. It is pretty glitzy. But like glitzy Collins. Are you just? So when you actually have to take a piss, you're just like pissing milkshake. Yep, doesn't hurt. It's thick, but it comes. You're, doesn't you're, it hurt the toilet after a while to just be flushing milkshake all the time? <laughs> it's probably or not does really it? I don't know. No, no. You don't think no. you're putting poops there's, down there? Yeah, there's nothing in milkshakes that are more. Like, I feel like pissing milkshakes all the time would just become annoying after a while. I mean, it's just the same as piss, but it's milkshake. I guess so. Yeah. yeah, you are. You still have to pee. You just you put a flavor into it. Mm. And you just flush it. No harm, no foul. I mean, maybe this is a great choice. I think it's the most interesting. I just think 10% off is not worth it for me. I mean, we already talked about also the cool side of it, that celebs would stop by to suck on it like a hookah, right? I guarantee there's a line of influencers waiting to get a video of that. A lot of influencers, like those big swings down south. Mm -hmm. You'd have a big line where it's all glitz and glam in the (laughs) pictures, but when you back up, you can actually see the hose coming from Creasy's dick (laughs) milk. A bunch of people puking milkshakes on the side. I could see you at Burning Man just being like, oh, "Yo, yeah. guys, oh, you be, oh, come on, come you'd on, you'd be the man." They yes. would put you on top of one of those yes, robotic yes, caterpillars yes. and you just spray the crowd. The whole crowd. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Dick shake, dick shake, dick shake. I feel like Jared Leto would probably smell that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. Like, always I disagree. Like, I feel like he would smell like the woods and another dimension. Jesus Christ. The woods and another... I He's on another the, level. I was, yeah, was going to ask for orgies your, uh, in the woods with like... He's like culty now. So there's just like... Smells like sweat and BO all the time. I don't time. know why you're judging that. I know your past. Isn't that like <laughs> I, what you I mean, like? I've, I've lived through being an adult. I get it. <laughs> Did you really? Yes, this it man was... Like, was first time I saw you when he got back, he's like, man. I was having a sex call for a little while. <laughs> what? And like, I was like, yo, wait till we go outside and have a cigarette to tell me this shit. <laughs> tell me this shit in front of my wife. And then we get outside and I'm like, how much were you fucking? <laughs> yeah, it's a story for not online. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, can I ask where the sex call was? Uh, yeah, it was an island called Salt Spring Island just outside of BC. I tried to get a Victoria, but I got on the wrong ferry and then... <laughs> 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 so, you know, he's just fucking for three weeks and he's like when do i what what, what do we eat around here yeah it's me and my like one of my best friends and we, we showed up to salt spring and then we got there homies for days for days yeah it was just him and i we were soul homies for a little bit and uh, we got to the pier <laughs> sounds weird you with your hand that. there for a minute with your homie man if you ask i don't give a fuck dude <laughs> if you want open my Fair enough. No. We were at the dock, and this girl, we walked up to this girl, like, hey, we're not supposed to be at the island. Like, where's the ferry terminal? She's like, oh, it just shows up here once a day. So we were, like, stuck there for the night. God damn. And then we were like, what do we do? And then uh, she was like, oh, my grandma's going into town. Like, she can drive you into town. And then I was like, oh, okay, cool. So him and I hopped in the car, and then she drove us around the island. The town was, like, 
eight houses. Like it was tiny, tiny. Okay. And it was like a little market. And then she dropped a house there after buying cookies and shit. And then we were just like hanging out, smoking weed. The town was a shopper's drug mart, a grocery, not a shopper's drug mart, but like a drug store, mm -hmm. a grocery store, a liquor store, and then a cafe that it was a weed lounge. That was literally all that was there. We we're like, oh, cool. So we went That's to the, the most weed. BC thing I've ever heard. Yeah, hundred percent. And then we were playing chess. And then there was this girl there who was sitting there and then him and I were playing chess and smoking weed and talking just like, I don't know what the fuck we're going to do. And then she showed up and she was like, you guys look interesting. And we were like, oh, cool. So you like chess. <laughs> yes, we like chess. Yeah. And Tell me like, how you like dick milkshakes. And she's like, oh, what brought you here? <laughs> and then we were like, oh, it was an accident. And then immediately she would like went into recruit mode. <laughs> oh, wow. So I gave you guys purple sweaters and be like, follow me. Yeah, no jumpsuit was like way later on. That was like, we did. No, was there, there was no okay. jumpsuit. There was no jumpsuit. I just like the image of you. Uh, I just picture you. This is not obviously not how it is, but I picture you holding two old timey suitcases <laughs> and getting off the ferry, being like, "So this is Victoria. <laughs> ah, not many buildings here. I thought it would be bigger. Just a drug laboratory and a cafe where you can smoke weed and play chess. Oh, look at the nice lady. Oh, she's pulling us by our dicks up the yeah. hill. You guys always make me a chimney sweep. <laughs> you kind of have that vibe. <laughs> It's like a it's a friendly innocent yeah, yeah. with a little bit of naivety that you don't really have. Oh, but yeah. I like I, I, I picture you know this whole thing is in sapia for sure. Oh, yeah. for he sure. shows up in sapia. He's got the two and those that the suitcases have belts on them. Yeah, 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 hundred <laughs> percent. And there's no actual. It's like a, a silent film where you see Otter talk and then like the words flash yeah. up afterwards. Oh, what a lovely island! Ah, <laughs> chess, I'd love a game. <laughs> and then jump cut. Oh my butt! Oh my butt, this lady's not wearing a bra. Why am I holding two dicks walking up a hill? That's the initiation. Anyway, three months later, I got out. Three months later, he was fitting newbies for their robes. <laughs> you newbies God, are going to love it here. How do you get a real Forrest Gump kind of life? There's really a lot of are you, weird What shit. are you calling me? <laughs> yeah, you're like the, you're, they're like the juggalo version of Forrest Gump. Chugga Gump. <laughs> Chugga Gump. <laughs> I've watched the shit out of that. Chugga Gump. You had a sex call. God can, damn. Can it be Forrest Jump at least? <laughs> oh, Forrest Jump? <laughs> Might as well. That sounds like Forrest a guy Jump. who just started jumping one day and never mm. stopped jumping. Jump, Forrest Jump. Jump, Forrest Jump. <laughs> jump, Forrest. You can do it, Dumpster. It's really hard to get away from the bullies when all you can do is jump. The running was much better. Yeah. So you can't even jump that high. You're just jumping. <laughs> Man, this guy's just annoying to grab. <laughs> There's dick milkshake everywhere. But yeah. if you had all 400 of them, you'd be sitting pretty right now. Yeah, you'd be able to, like, almost a year. <laughs> yeah. But you have to find somebody that likes them as much as you do. Mm. You know, there's somebody that's willing to be like... Is there a cigarette in that? Do you drink cigarette water? Joint oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry. I don't know who did that, but that's gross. God damn. I am, do you have another bubbler? I am do you need sorry. another bubbler? You're the culprit. Well, I mean, I, I have to assume it was me because, like, I just don't assume that P would do that, no, but I, I didn't do it on purpose. No, I know. Do you need another bubbler? Yes, Did we get it on camera? Oh, yeah.